Hi, it's Debbie from Creatively Yours and welcome to my annual whip parade slash stitch or ditch. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you all my projects I have, uh, which are, if I'm correct, 49 for 2022 and one for New Year's Day, which is tomorrow because it's Saturday the 31st of December when I'm filming this. It's uh, New Year's Eve day. Uh, so if you hear light, loud noises from outside, uh, there are people um, firing off fireworks as we speak. So that's what you maybe can hear. I hope not. I hope you had a wonderful holidays. Uh, I had a wonderful Christmas. Uh, right after Christmas, I got the flu. <laughs> which was hell. <laughs> I'm still hoarse, I'm still uh, nasal, but I wanted to film this whip parade because I have time now. And yeah, um, let's do this. Um, I would like to say thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you for tuning in on my channel and watching my video. If you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And if you are new, I really hope you would like to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss anything. And uh, hope to see you next year too. So it's been a while. My la last video was at the end of October and then life got in the way. It was really hectic at work and personal. A lot of things happening, uh, which I'm not getting into now maybe in the next video, but it's not, it was very busy, so I couldn't find the time to, to film. So welcome to my whip parade. I'm going to show you all my whips and I'm going to tell you um, which I'm going to ditch. And to be honest, I don't think there are ditches this time, but I'm going to personalize some whips of mine, which are meaning that I'm going to cut them short or just only stitch a part of, of it and then be done with it. But I'm going to tell you on the spot when I'm showing you. So let's start. I'm going to show you my whips from the oldest to the newest. So if you know me by now, you know I gravitate towards full coverage stitching and my full coverages, which are as of tomorrow, the 1st of January, 20. <laughs> and that's not the end of it, but um, they are coming. But in the first part of this video, it's not going to be full coverage because I started later on with accumulating this much full coverage patterns. So just stick with the video and you'll see all my full coverage pieces. I'm going to start with the first. And let's grab my cover picture. Let's see. Which is really banged up. This is Night Fairy by Maria van Scharrenburg, charted by Lenarte, which was a kit. It's no longer available as a kit. It's available as a pattern, a digital pattern. I believe through Leisure Arts, which is available on Amazon. So, but I got the kit years ago. I started this one on the 15th of July, 2018. <laughs> I started working this one with Jemima, the rocking stitcher. She is one of the stitch -cateers. Uh, as well and she and Alice, hi Alice, <laughs> did finish it so I'm the last one standing <laughs> with Diane Frog and Fudge. So Diane you're not the only one, we'll finish it. I'm going to show you what I have so far and up front I don't iron any of my pieces until it's finished. This is what I have so far. I really, really, really love how this is looking. 
This is done on the kit fabric with the kit floss. I believe the fabric was, it's an even weave and it's, I believe, a 28 count. So, yeah, that's the Night Fairy, my oldest whip. And my plan is, if you can speak of a plan, because I know myself very well, um, to hopefully finish it next year, but we'll see. I'm not promising anything so that's the first one let's put it back in the basket here and if I reach here are all my projects or at least the first couple and there is my computer which I have my Excel sheet with all the details so I'm going to look there and there <laughs> the next project And I need to grab a drink in between because my throat. The next one is Pretty Little London by Satsuma Street. I started this on the 21st of August 2018 in London in a hotel room with my son Pascal. He graduated high school and we took a city trip to London and this is a commemorate piece so and a marching order from Alice so <laughs> I'm going to show you how far I've gotten last year because I picked it up back up again last year this is what I have so far and this is about 50% it's from a paper pattern, so I don't have percentages, but it was half of the pattern. So <laughs> safe to say it's 50%. <laughs> it, this is done on 32 count natural linen by Anchor. Very old piece of fabric, but I love working on it. And it's stitched with DMC. And as I just mentioned, I got a marching order from Alice because, yeah, I need to finish it, especially because Pascal, my son, is asking for it. So I'm going to finish it, uh, hopefully, next year. It's going to be one of my focus pieces. Next one is in my ballsy Star Wars project bag, which I made. Excuse me. I'm going to grab the cover picture. Oh, glare. This is Minerva by Nora Corbett or Mirabilia. I started this one on the 10th of October 2018 for my birthday. And yeah, really. Beautiful piece is this. On my wildest fabric ever. I have been working on this one as well last year. Or this year, still. Look at this. I really love this. This is done on 32 count tentaculum fabric, unnamed. They still sell these types of fabric. I don't know if the, they have this particular fabric still, but this was one of I found at an LNS. And I think it's fabulous. Hopefully, if I can make it, I will finish this one also. So I don't have any 2018 projects anymore next year or the year after, but we'll see. Okay, next project. I'm going to insert a cover picture because my cover picture is really bad. So you will see it by now. This is Templar Prophecy by Long Dog Samplers. 
I started this one on the 8th of October 2019 and <coughs> I secretly call this Mika's prophecy because of the color. Look at this. Is this the right? Yeah, this is the right way. This is stitched on 20 count Jobelin, which I hand dyed with beige. And I'm using uh, Darling by Mrs. Sedas, which is a silk. A really beautiful, let me show you a little bit up close. Really beautiful blue, variegated. I am currently at 16.21%. And I'm planning on finishing it as is. So no ditches or personal personalizations, which is a hard word for this one. Next project. Take a sip because I feel a, something in my throat. I don't have a cover picture with me for this one, so I'm going to insert it here as well. This one is Hoity Toity by Longox Samplers. I started this one on the 15th of October 2019. And this is what I have so far. This is stitched on 20 count Jobelin, which I also hand dyed with beige. <laughs> Surprise. <laughs> this is stitched with the uh, Hoity Toity Misuseda's silk pack. So all the silks to complete this pattern and I'm planning on completing it. And yeah, don't have anything to say about this one. It's been a long time since I've been working on this one, but that's what happens when you have a lot of whips. So, and I'm okay with that. Next one. Let me organize a little bit. Next one is Autumn Quakers by <laughs> Rosewood Manor. It's been so long. I started this one on the 26th of October 2019. And this is what I have so far. This is stitched on, let me see, 28 count Hendai Jobelin in surprise, surprise, beige <laughs> by me. <laughs> and I'm using the cold for Faldani threads from the ball. It's very, um, not confetti heavy, but you need to start and stop threads constantly. So that's the reason I haven't done as much. I plan on getting back on back to this one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to finish the entire design. Maybe I will finish up this square and be done, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Life is too short to stitch everything. Not possible. <laughs> Next one is, let me see if I still have this in frame, yeah. This is Celebrate Halloween by Madame Chantilly. I started this one on the 21st of December, 2019. And Let me show you what I have. 
this is what I have so far. I love this one so much. This is stitched on 28 count hand dyed Jobelin in Emerald by me. <laughs> you will hear that a lot. <laughs> I'm using the Cold for DMCs. And I really love this. And I plan on finishing it as the design says, because I can't leave anything out. It's beautiful. And I have the Christmas one as well. Not started yet, but we will. The next one is Smith Sampler by the Scarlet House. This is such a gorgeous sampler. I really, really love this one, but I haven't stitched on it the entire year. I started this one on the 1st of January 2020 as my new year new start. And I'm going to show you. This is what I have so far. This is stitched on 40 count Steel Shadows by XU Design, and I'm using the Cold for Silks, which were Overa Soie Soidelger Silks. And this needle miner is from Pam and Steph from Dutch Mania in 2019. They gifted it to us. And I'm not sure either, I love this design, but I'm not sure if I'm going to stitch the entire piece. There are some I'm sure of that I'm going to stitch only a part, and some I'm not sure, and this is one of them. So, next one. The Rose Fairy, this is the only way I can show you without glare. The Rose Fairy by DMC, which was a kit. I received this from my mom as a gift one day. And I started this one on the 1st of May 2020 for Stitch Mania. And when I'm done, it's going to go to Moonwise on Instagram. She wanted to stitch this one and I am not nearly finished. So it's going to take a while. <laughs> this is what I have so far. <laughs> not much. <laughs> Stitched on, um, let me see, not the kit fabric, which was 16 count Ada. And this is 28 count buttercream even weave which I find a little bit better to stitch on. And I'm using the kit floss, so yeah. This one is going to be finished as it is. Next one. Let me just organize a little bit. Feast of Friendship by Blackbird Designs. I started this one on the 7th of May 2020 for Stitch Mania. And I am not far. I am not far. That house, I love stitching it, but this is all I got. And I'm not sure either if I'm going to stitch the entire design. <coughs> I don't think so. But we'll see. This is stitched on 36 count Picture This Plus Sand with Stash Floss. 1 over 2. Next 
one, which is not the right one. Uh, let me take it out of the plastic, the coffee picture, because glare. <laughs> this is Coffee Quaker by Heartstring Samplery. Let me. It's really blowing out. I love this one. I love coffee. So. I started that one on the 13th of May 2020 for Stitch Mania. And let me just fold it over because it's easier. This is what I have so far. All the reds in this design I have substituted for blue because blue is my favorite color. Hence the sweater, which is 3808 <laughs> all over. <laughs> I made a massive mistake in this motif, this border of this motif. So I'm off. I can fudge it, but that's not looking right because I don't think, I think it's very, uh, how do you call that? Obvious. So I'm going to take out this border of this motif. This is done on 40 count linen in the colorway linen. I don't know the brand and I'm using DMCs. And I'm going to finish this one. Just, I need to find the courage to frog all that out. I don't like frogging. But yeah, what can you do? Let me see the next one. Yeah, that's this one. Need to take it out of the plastic as well. HL Moth by Kathy Barrick. Kathy Barrick is such a wonderful designer. I started that one on the 21st of May 2020 for Stitch Mania again. <laughs> and this is what I have so far, not much. <laughs> I haven't been working on it a lot. This is done on, let me see, 32 count orange linen by Victorian Motto. I was once part of the Fabric of the Month Club and this was one of them. And I'm using the Cold for DMCs, or at least most of them. And I am going to finish the moth itself. I am going to leave out the H and the L. And let's hope I can finish this one someday because it's beautiful. I just don't get around to it. Next one. Also in the plastic because that has my middle name all over it. <laughs> Sorry. The Apple Blossom Sampler by The Drawn Thread. Started this one on the 27th of May 2020 for Stitch Mania again. I think I did one start a week. I haven't done much. Need to drink. This is what I have. This is stitched on 32 count natural raw linen by Zweigart with DMC and Victoria Motto Semper threads. And yeah, look at that little bee. <laughs> one over one. I am really liking the design, but I am not sure if I'm going to finish it. 
I'm not sure. I'm not good at decision making at this point, so I'm going to give this a timeout until I know for sure. And then my bedspread and my cover picture is totally broken, so I'm putting it here. <laughs> Let me see. The first of team bedspread. <laughs> Um, yeah. <laughs> Pandemic by Long Dog Samplers. I started this one on the 17th of July 2020, stitched on 32 count Platinum Murano by Zweigart. <coughs> With DMCs. Blues and greens. I'm going to take you a little bit up close so you can see. Look at that. I love this. This is currently at 19.57%. And yeah, I love this. And I don't give it too much time. And I need to because. I love it. Okay. Those were my uh, projects till now. I'm going to put these away and I'm going to grab the next lot and I'll be right back. I'm back. Next one. is the English Garden Sampler by Samplers Not Forgotten. I started this one on the 30th of August 2020. And I'm going to show you. This is everything I have. This is stitched on 40 count old linen by X Due Design with the called for Weeks Dye Works. One over two. And this is the one I have made a decision about. I really love the entire pattern, but it's really big. And the only thing, the only part of this pattern that drew me in, that really caught my eye, is one part, which is, I hope you can see it, this part with the flower pot. I know now that there is a separate um, pattern for it, based off of the entire design, but I didn't know back then. So yeah, it means that I'm not going to stitch the entire piece. I'm going to stitch only that part and I'm not going to throw away what I have stitched. I'm going to finish off the band I'm at and I'm cutting it off and I'm going to turn it into a drum or something. Um, yeah, I'll make something with it so it's not going to waste but I don't want to stitch the entire sampler when only one part of it is the thing that I like. So that's the decision. It's nothing about the design because I love the design. It's not disrespectful for the designer to the designer. It's just my creative decision to stitch only the things I love and personalize it. So yeah, that's that one. The next one is, let me move something. I'm going to hopefully take it, not take it out of the plastic this time. It's Snooty Parrots by Barbara Anna Designs. I started this one on the 1st of October 2020 for my birthday. Hashtag Snooty Parrots B-Day Cell with Alice. 
and I'm going to show you what I have done so far. It's really wrinkled, but this is what I have so far. This is stitched on 40 count doubloon by Pixie This Plus. And I am using Misuseda silks. I converted the cold four colors to Misuseda silks. And I really love that. But also with this one, there's only one part of the piece or maybe some parts of the piece that I really like. So I'm not going to stitch this entire design. I'm going to make something with I, the things I already stitched. But the thing that drew me in was the parrot. And maybe the house or the bottom strip. I'm not sure what I'm going to stitch of it, but I'm going for the parrot. So that's what I'm going to do. Life is too short to stitch entire pieces if you don't like the entire piece. And it's not a, not that I don't like the entire piece. It's some parts are more beautiful to me than the other parts. And that's how it's how it works. The next one I'm going to take out the cover picture if I can find it. Oh my god. Let's take everything out of the bag. Yeah. I have it right here. It's the Snow Queen by Mirabilia, the most beautiful Mirabilia pattern ever, I think. Both Alice and Lydia, lovely stitches, both from the Stitch Kateers as well, are going to start this one this year, I believe in December. And I told them I would join them because I already started this, but I want to join them. I haven't been stitching on this one as much. So I started this one on the 10th of October, 2020 for my birthday. <laughs> I had a second birthday start. And I am going to back up because I have this on my large frame. Let me see if I can do this. This is what I have so far. Let me show you. I'm beating as I go. And yeah, I really love this. This is stitched on, let me see what I have written down, 32 count, no, this is 28 count emerald linen, which I hand dyed. I really love how it looks and I'm using the gold for everything except for the fabric. And yeah, look at this. This is just gorgeous and I can't wait to get back to this one. Really love this. Let me put it here. Next project. Is... Farben der Niederlande, or Colors of the Netherlands, by Historische Stiekmuster. This was a kit I bought at the Handwerk Boutique, which is my LNS, and I bought it twice. For me, as well as for Alice, which was a gift for her. And we started this together on the 1st of November 2020. And we're using the hashtag Delft Blue Cell. Let me show you what I have so far. Not much. 
this is what I have. This is done on 40 count off white linen with the called for silks. Over a soie, soie d'Alger. And I really love this. And I'm for sure going to finish this one. Not next year <laughs> or this year because that's too much. But yeah, I love this one. The next one. Is Jason Snow Globe, the rustic Christmas series by Twin Peak Primitives. This was a gift from them. I started this one on the 1st of December 2020. I'm going to show you how far I've gotten. Look at this. I've done a lot last year. I'm currently at 68.28% <coughs> and this is stitched on 32 count natural raw linen by Zweigart with the gold for DMCs and hopefully I'm finishing this next year. Organize this a little bit. Next one. Huckleberry Farm by the Blue Flower. <clears throat> This was part of a stitch along with the Stitchketeers, hashtag Stitchketeers friendship stitch along. The other girls did Quaker, something Quaker by the Blue Flower and I did Huckleberry Farm. And uh, yeah, they finished and I didn't, obviously. I'm sorry for the coughing. I can't help it. I'm talking too much. This is what I have so far. Look at this. This is stitched on uh, 32 count driftwood Murano by me. And I'm using the called for flosses. And I started this one on the 4th of December, 2020. And I'm going to finish it as a whole. And I'm thinking about dividing the rest of the pattern into parts. So I can do a part a month or something like that. Maybe that's an idea. Take a sip. Um, oh. The next one <clears throat> is, oh, that's hard to see, 1864 EF Sampler, which is on the CD ROM um, by Samplers and Antique Needlework Quarterly. I started that one on the 1st of January 2021 for a new year, new start. And the hashtag for it is 1864EF Sampler Cell with Mama Loves You GB, Michelle, and some others. <coughs> this is what I have so far. I started with the cow, <laughs> milking the cow. <laughs> this is stitched on 40 count, 40 count wooden shoes by me with the called for DMCs. And this is one I'm not going to finish as a whole. I am going to finish only the bottom part of the sampler and not the top part. No time for alphabets. 
So, yeah. Next one. Oh, this one is so beautiful. This is 2020 Pandemic Sampler by Sarsi Girl. This was a free pattern. Can you believe it? I don't, I don't know if it's still available, but it was free, so beautiful. And it came with dyeing instructions for the fabric, which I did, I'm going to show you. Uh, this was started on the 19th of January, 2021. Did I have a hashtag? No. I started this with Alice and Lilia. And this is what I have so far. Let me show you like this. This is 40 count Christie's sampler by me. I dyed it according to her instructions. And I asked, asked her if I could name the fabric Christie Sampler and she said yes. So I really love this. I'm using the Cold 4 DMCs and this is just, just gorgeous. And I need to get back to it. Next one. Um, where's my fabric here? This one is The Fox by Luca S. This was <coughs> a kit which was kindly given to me by mybobbin.com. And Jemima, the rocking stitcher, just picked out the same. So <laughs> we started this together uh, with Jemima and Lydia. Of the stitch containers and we are using the hashtag all the foxes sell and i started this one or we started this one on the 6th of march 2021 and i am going to show you i don't have much and i'm not sure where I only have an eye. <laughs> Look at this. The fox's eye. This is done on the kit fabric with the kit floss. This is Rustico, which is 16 count Ada. And the kit floss is Anchor, I believe. And I recently saw um, Lydia posting in our group, texting that she was moving along with this one and it turns out beautifully so i need to get back to it and then the last one of this particular setting because i need to grab new ones let me take out some things. It's Quaker Street by Marjorie Massey. I bought the PDF from her, from Marjorie, Marjorie Massey herself. I asked her if I could have a PDF and she said yes. Unfortunately, the PDF is not very good readable in Pattern Keeper, so I have it for a portion in Pattern Keeper, but not for everything. And yeah. It is what it is. Let me see. This is what I have so far. I started this one on the 19th of April, 2021. And it is stitched on 40 count driftwood by me. And I'm using silks for you, um, PRO 43 charcoal. And with this one, I'm not sure if I'm completing the entire design. 
I'm still debating. I'm not sure. But I love how it looks. So that's it for this. I'm going to clean up this and I'm going to grab the other, the next section and I will be right back. I'm back. We are getting into some full coverages now, so yay. <laughs> the next one is not a full coverage. Just saying. <laughs> Winter Rose Manor by Brenda Gervais. I started this on the 8th of May 2021. And I started this with Lydia, Lovely Stitches. And we are using the hashtag Sweewee Rose Manor Cell. And I have been working on this recently. I've shown you. This is what I have so far. This is stitched on 32 count fog lifter blend by r, r And I'm using my own conversion of DMCs and some Victorian mottos. And the pink in the house is hand dyed by me, uh, based off of 819 DMC. But I'm out of it, so I need to dye some more. <laughs> Let's hope it comes out the same. So this is going to be stitched as the design is, because I love it. So that's Winter Rose Manor. <coughs> <coughs> the next one I haven't stitched on all year is After the Roses by Ink Circles. I started this one on the 22nd 22nd of May 2021 for Stitch Mania. And I haven't done much. I only did a start. This is it. <laughs> I am stitching this on 40 count vintage country mocha with the call for flosses, which are, I believe, classic color works or weeks dye works. I'm not sure. I out of the top of my head. And this is going to be stitched. First full coverage. Team Batch Bread. It's the creepy one, Alice. <laughs> it's You'll Never Melt Again on Me by Adrian Borda, charted by Unconventional X Stitch. I first saw this at Pennington Terrace, Amanda, and I fell in love. And I recently, a couple of days ago, saw her whip parade and she, show, she showed it and I fell in love all over again. So <clears throat> sip of water. I started this one on the 15th of June, 2021. And this is what I have. I did one page finish, one and a half, I think. This is stitched on 25 count potato Lugana with the called for DMCs, one over one full cross. And I'm currently at 2.09%. Yeah, 2.09. And I am getting bored of the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish off the second page and then I'm going to move let me show you. I'm going to move below the first page and I'm going to create a diagonal staircase of pages. So I get to the eye. So, yeah. Love, love, love. The next one in this beautiful project bag which was a gift from the Stitch Kateers for my 100th, 100th episode of Flosstube. Thank you girls. <coughs> this is Sea of Prayers by Tilton Crafts. 
artwork by Takaki. This is no longer available, I believe. I started this one with Alice on, let me see, the 1st of July, 2021. And we are using the hashtag Sea of Prayers Cell. And this is what I have. Look at this. Look at the colors. All blues and purples. I love this one. This is stitched on 25 count easy grid. One over one full cross with the cold four DMCs. And I'm currently at 4.48%. Next one in this beautiful project bag, all made by Diane of Frog and Fudge. She is the best. Got a Secret by Chris Ortega. Artwork by Chris Ortega and charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I cropped this design. I took out uh, one row of the left side <laughs> and one row of the bottom side. So my percentage, percentages are off. I'm not sure what the exact percentage is, but I started this one on the 7th of July, 2021. Look at that eye. <laughs> this is so up my alley. This is stitched on 25 count off-white Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. And I'm just working my way through the pages. And I'm currently, according to Pattern Keeper, but it's off. Uh, I'm currently at 26.29%, but that's not true. <laughs> so... Next one in this beautiful bag by Diane, which was a gift from Alice. This is a Stitch Tears Stitch Along. Mini Deer Creek, artwork by Donna Gelsinger, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And the Stitch Kateers, we, all five of us, are stitching this one using hashtag Dear Friends Cell, Dear as in the animal. And we were starting this one on the 14th of July, 2021. And this is what I have so far. I love this. It's beautiful. <coughs> Stitched on 25 count easy grid, one over one full cross with the gold four DMCs. And I'm currently at 30%. I was debating on focusing on a finish for next year, as the other Stitch Kateers maybe are. Um, but it's going to be too much to do still and my life is very busy at the moment so I'm not going to force myself I am finishing it when I'm finishing it it needs to be fun to me so the next one is a banged up couple picture but it will do it's a little blue Artwork by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I cropped the entire right uh, pages. So these percentages are off as well. <laughs> this is what I have so far. Look at the spider web. I love this. I love the colors. True Amy Stewart. 
this is started on let me see where is it uh, the 18th of July 2021 and Stephanie of the on point stitcher is stitching it with me we are using the hashtag little blue fairy cell I didn't know I don't know if I already mentioned this is on 25 count easy grid one of one full cross but it is <laughs> And I am currently, according to Petting Keeper, at 21.38%. Sorry, you guys. I need to... I haven't been talking much the last couple of days because of the fever and the coughing and <coughs> this one is she sleeps artwork by stephanie law i'm not going to pronounce the rest <laughs> uh, charted by heaven and earth designs i started this on uh, the 23rd of July 2021 together with Lydia and we are using the hashtag team she sleeps and this is what I have let me fold it over it's a little bit easier to show you Look at that. Just beautiful. This is stitched on 25 count Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. And I am currently at 6.31%. The next one is a Stitch in Time Winter, quick stitch, artwork by Amy Stewart again, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. <coughs> and this is what I have so far. I started this one on for the third time on the 29th of July 2021 and this is stitched on 25 count smoky gray by Swigart Lugana 1 over 1 full cross and I'm currently at 5.40% yeah love this one I love all Amy Stewart. Let me see if I have a cover picture here. Yeah, I do. The next one. Is Spring Fairy by Letty Stitch, which is a kit. I started this one on the 1st of August, 2021. And I am stitching this one together with Jantina. I don't think we have an hashtag, but I'm not sure. I am using the kit floss, but not the kit fabric. I I'm using 20 count easy grid Ada, one over one. And this is what I have so far. This is a paper pattern, which is impossible to import in Pattern Keeper, this one. So I don't have percentages, but I love how this is looking.
the next one in this beautiful bag which was gifted to us the stitch Kateers, <coughs> by angel saunders on instagram and the reason behind this beautiful gift and it's made by diane of frog and Patch, is my pattern my own pattern fall in amsterdam This pattern is free. You can find the link to my link tree in Flosstube 84, I believe. And yeah, it uses 150 colors. And there are some uh, mistakes in there. There is a top and a bottom black row, which I didn't import, but my program did, did it and I can't remove it for the life of me <laughs> and the only thing you need to do is if you are going to stitch this pattern is import the dmc numbers yourself in pattern keeper oh and before i forget this is a picture my sister took at the hortus botanicus in amsterdam and she gave me permission to use her picture and this is what I have so far. Fall leaves. <laughs> this is stitched on 25 count Lugana 1 over 1 full cross. And this is started on the 1st of October 2021. Using the hashtag fall in Amsterdam cell. And yeah. Love this. A couple of the stitch tears are stitching it with me. But it's so confetti heavy, so I'm not gravitating towards it either. So <laughs> know what you're getting into if you are going to. Let me see. Is that the next one? Yeah. <coughs> next one is... Autumn Leaves by the Prairie Schooler. I'm stitching all the smalls. Oh, I only made two. Okay, that's not much. <laughs> I started this one on the 10th of October 2021 for my birthday. And I am making smalls. Halloween or fall smalls. And... This is what I have. I have two of them. This is stitched on 40 count aged pumpkin by XGU Design using the cold for DMCs. And my plan is to finish this, these smalls, as soon as possible. And the last one for this round. is Dreamer artwork by Nadia Strelkina charted by Heaven and Earth Designs I started this one on the 17th of November 2021 together with Jemima the Rocking Stitcher and we are using hashtag Dreamer in the Tree cell and yes, there are a lot of blues. And this is what I have so far. I finished my first page. This is stitched on 25 count easy grid, one over one full cross with the call for DMCs. And I'm currently at 2.07%. I'm going to clean these up and come back with uh, another part. Be right back. Okay, these are the last ones. This one is very big. I'm going to show you. Let me see where I am. Yeah, here. 
This is Sarah Brazier, a sampler by Hands Across the Sea Samplers. This was a limited edition. I found one last copy on Etsy, the book, and yeah, beautiful. I started this one on the 31st of January, 2022. <clears throat> And this is what I have so far. It's full of specialty stitches and I really love them, but it's a biggie. <laughs> uh, this is done on 40 count Latte by me and I'm using the gold for DMCs. Yeah. Beautiful. Next one is a kit from Twin Peak Primitives. I'm going to show you. Love is sometimes blue. A Dutch sampler and I'm only stitching the inside, not the border around it. I started this one on the 1st of March 2022, together with Alice and Linda. And we are using the hashtag Love is Sometimes Blue Cell. And this is what I have so far. This is done on 32 count Sand Murano with the Cold for DMCs. And it's beautiful. And I need to get back to it. The next one is in this, look at this, <laughs> beautiful project bag by Kaylee, Kaylee Tentstitch. She gifted me this one. And yeah, look at this. How beautiful is this? There are also pockets for your bobbins, but I'm not using them. So only one. <laughs> and in here is, Oh, I'm not sure if I have a cover picture. I'm going to put a cover picture here. This is Forest Santa and Reindeer, artwork by Ruben McHugh and charted by Charting Creations. And the reason why I started this is because of Mama Flossibilities. She already finished it. I, this morning, saw the, the, the latest video of Flossibilities, Lauren, and she showed the finished piece on the wall by her mom. It's gorgeous. This is what I have. One page finish. <laughs> it's stitched on 25 count easy grid one over one. I started this one on the 4th of March 2022 and I am currently at 5%. Beautiful. Next one is the Rusty Cauldron, artwork by Lisa Parker, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Oh, my nose is going to itch right now. Floss tube nose. <laughs> this is what I have so far. Not much, but it's a beginning. It is stitched on 25 count easy grid, one over one, full cross. And I started this one on the 1st of April, 2022. And I'm currently at 3.41%. And the chart was gifted to me, to me by Liana. is Story Keep Cardinal Cottage, artwork by Donna Gelsinger, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. 
This was a gift from Dunja, Passion for Crafting on Instagram. And I'm stitching this with her. I started this one on the 1st of May, 2022. I'm not sure. Is the hashtag SK Cardinal Cottage sell? And I'm going to show you what I have. This is what I have so far. This is stitched on 25 count gray Lugana, one over one full cross. <coughs> and I'm currently at 5%. The next one is in this beautiful project bag by Lydia, Lovely Stitches, or was it Jontina? It was Jontina. Jontina made these for us, together with this one from Jemima. It's Ornament Butterfly Port Mauve, artwork by Jenna della Crotaglia Maldonado, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. We, the Stitch Tears, started this one together with, not with, on, <laughs> uh, let me see, the 21st of May 2022. We had a meetup. And this is what I have so far. This is stitched on 25 count. Uh, smoke, smoky, grey, Lugana, one over one, full cross, and I'm currently at 13%. Look at this, the butterfly is in sight. This was also a contender to finish next year, but also for this one, it's too much to... force myself to finish it next year. We'll see. If it happens, it happens. The next one, when I saw this one coming out, I immediately wanted to start it. It's the Grand Library artwork by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I started this one on the 10th of June, 2022. And I am stitching this for the Anything Amy Cell, which we are hosting, the Stitch Kateers. And Alice came up with a hashtag, which is brilliant. This is what I have so far. I'm doing the, doing the regular version. This is stitched on 25 count, easy grid, one over one full cross. And I'm making my way down to the first shelf, bottom of the first shelf, and then I'm going to move to the right, to the next portion. And I am currently at 2.25%. It's going to take a while. But that's okay. one is Mini Sea Turtle Spirit of Serendipity, artwork by Carol Cavallaris, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is what I have so far. This I started on the 31st of July 2022. And was a gift from Christine. And I am currently at 5%. I love this one. 
I love the colors. Let me grab the rest. The next one I also fell in love with and was a gift from my boyfriend. He gifted me the fabric and the flosses. And my copy is very banged up, but you will have to do with it. It's Dark Jungle Temple and Tigers. Artwork by Ciro Marchetti. Charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Look at that. And This is what I have so far. What do I have here? Oh, just a loose thread. I started this one on the 2nd of September, 2022. And I am stitching this on 25 count easy grid, one over one full cross. This needle minder I received as a gift from Kaylee, 10 stitch in the project bag she gave me. I love it. Beautiful. Oh, and I'm currently at, let me see, 1%. <laughs> wow, only 99 to go. <laughs> the next one was a stitch along with the Stitch Kateers as well. This is Spirit of Autumn. Artwork by Ciro Marchetti, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. I have cropped the design, I believe, a row on the top and a row at or here I'm not sure which way so my percentage is off but it is what it is uh, where am I This is actually Team Batch Bread over here. I don't want to take this long, but I need to. This is what I have so far, just a corner. Let me see, I started, or we started this one on the 23rd of September 2022 we are using the hashtag all the foxes sell and yeah beautiful I'm currently according to stitch pal at one percent so The next one was a stitch along with Yasmin of Yasmin's Made with Love. All Creatures Great and Small by Barbara Anna Designs. I really love this one. I started this with her on the 8th of October for our birthdays. Hers is on the 8th, no, the 7th of October and mine is on the 10th. So we decided to start on the 8th. And we are using the hashtag all creatures be they sell. And I really love this one. Look at the colors. 
This is what I have so far. I only stitched on it once. This is stitched on 40 count platinum by Zweigart using the Cold for DMCs. And yeah, nothing else to say. I love it, it's beautiful. Grab something I forgot. This is Whip 49. So my last one for 2022. This is Dark Snow White by Pain Free Crafts. Artwork by Barrett Biggers. I really, really love this one. I love the colors. I love everything about this. I only missed the seven dwarfs and the big bad wolf, but that's okay. Maybe I'll find them. <laughs> I started this one on the 12th of November, 2022. And this is what I have so far. This is stitched on 25 count Nougat Lugana 1 over 1 full cross and I am currently at 1% and I am hosting a stitch along on Instagram using the hashtag dark fairy tale sale. So if you have a whip or a new start which you can relate to a dark fairy tale or a fairy tale or something dark <laughs> you can join. So a lot of you did so I'm very happy about that. And those were my whips of 2022. And now I only have one new start, which I would like to show you, which will make me 50 for 2022. I'm starting the year with 50. <coughs> I'm going to stitch on M Mini Full Moon by Contemporary Cross. I fell in love with this. I love this bird. I love the colors. It's beautiful. I saw a lot of beautiful patterns, but this one was grabbing me. And I'm going to stitch it on 25 count Wedgwood Lugana 1 over 1 full cross with the DMCs. And then I have 50. And my plan for next year is to stitch on anything I want, sweet wee, and my original plan was to start all the things I have kitted up, because it's laying there and that's a waste, but I'm not sure about it anymore, we will see, uh, maybe I will start all the things, maybe I will start a few things, uh, maybe, I'm not sure. I'm just going to stitch on whatever I want and whenever, whatever I feel like and enjoy myself. And that's it. I have nothing more to add. But thank you for watching my movie. <laughs> and I hope to be back at the end of February. We'll see if I manage that. Um, I'm wishing you a very loving and healthy 2023. And I hope you will stay with my channel. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time. So thank you for watching. Happy stitching and happy new year. Bye for now.